John Reddick here in studio, yeah. living, breathing right here at Caleb. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. Did you have to come far today? I did not have to come far. Okay. Six minutes. That's good. <laughs> so it's kind of good. Okay. I'm I am it. so excited to get to be able to talk with you. I have been singing your song. Oh, I have man. been praying your song mm. in the last couple of months. And so I cannot wait to hear more of your heart, the man behind wow. the lyrics. Um, if you guys are familiar, God, Turn It Around. <laughs> That is a song that we have been singing here at Caleb. Tell us the story behind that song. Where did it start? That we're experiencing it today, but it didn't start just yesterday. <laughs> to be honest, I was on a phone conversation with my dad, and okay. we we only talk on the phone for like five minutes tops <laughs> usually. But this time we were talking for a long time, and we just started sharing stories about our own individual lives. And both of us were shocked at what it you know, what it transpired in our lives. And by the time the conversation was over, we, I remember hanging up the phone and just looking up and just saying, God, you really do turn things around. I was thinking about how he's just turned our relationship around and things like that. And, and I had this desire where I really wanted people who are in need of God doing something big in their lives. I wanted them to be able to experience that. And so the words just came out, I'm praying God come and turn this thing around. And I just couldn't stop. I was playing the piano for like three hours straight, just wow. legit three hours. And just in this desire and this prayer and, and I, a couple of friends of mine, Jess Cates, Anthony Skinner, and we just started finishing the song. So, yeah. What are some of the stories that you have heard of people that as they've <sighs> encountered your song? it's become their prayer, the things that have really meant something to you. Wow. I've, it's, it's blown me away. The stories I've heard, first of yeah. all, and I don't take that lightly. I, I've heard things from people being in ICU with COVID mm -hmm. and they're praying over their spouse, you know, all the way to one of our members at church. I ran into her and she said, I was there the first time you sang it. And she said, what nobody knew was that, her husband had just told her that he was leaving her for his mistress. Ooh. And my heart sank and I was like, oh my gosh. And, and But he was right there standing there next to her. She said, but God turned it around. And she said, can I show you how we worship God in church now? She raised his hand up. We were in Chick-fil-A. In the middle of this Chick-fil-A, she lifted his hand. They lifted him together and said, this is how we worship God. We worship God together. And I was blown away and just really grateful that God would allow me to be a part of anybody's story in any kind of ways. It's a real honor, a real honor. Yeah. What I love about what you do and so many artists, but specifically with this song, because it's been personal to me too, because mm -hmm. I have sung it and prayed it, um, is that you've been faithful to your gifts. God has gifted you as mm -hmm. a writer, as an artist. Mm -hmm. And then you're not just sitting on that. You're not on the bench, man. You're in the game and you're bringing this song forward and you're mm -hmm. blessing people and you're giving us the words to pray out and to believe God for the power of him being God. Yeah. He is able to turn things around. So yeah. thank you. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank Laurie. You. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. Um, John Reddick, you are maybe new to a lot of people, all right? <laughs> so, um, mm -hmm. but to many, you are a faithful man that has been at this for a long time. But looking through your bio, you, uh, let's see, born in Memphis. No, born in North Carolina. Grew up in Memphis. <laughs> yeah. Big family. Six siblings. Yeah. Yes, I do have Dad's six siblings. Dad's pastor. We got mom as the pianist. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, father, you have like been working with artists like for so long. People have been making your music. Man, Disa mm. um, took it. Um, <laughs> but that's like the official bio. And those are amazing things. But I, like, I want to know like the off script bio. I want to know about John the artist like literally mm -hmm. like you make art not just the music but you make <laughs> art like tell me about that oh uh, i yeah, i love to paint is there i love like, to do like oil paintings and oil, acrylic okay. paintings so it's just another way of i feel like expressing some of the things that are inside my heart and my mind some of the things that god has given me some of the messages that um that you know with a song you can hear a song and it gives you a message in one way with a piece of art you can look at it and it may just keep unveiling itself to you with deeper meaning over a period of time. And so 
I'm blessed that I get an opportunity to get to do that. Uh, sometimes it's just a beautiful distraction, you know. <laughs> like yeah. I get, I'm, I'm one of those easily distracted individuals. So if I go paint something, it still wraps me back around to music, and I like to just infuse the two in some kind of way. So yeah. And you've kind of made your music and your painting combine. Your art isn't necessarily in galleries, but where can people see your paintings? Yeah, actually, I've painted. If not, if not all, at least most of my covers, right? Like <laughs> so, people, all of your covers, when they encounter your music and they get your your work, all of those you've done. Yes, if it's not a photo, then I, I've done those. Yes, that's amazing. Yes, I, well, I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it's fun to get to do though. Yeah. I love that. I've tried. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> it, it um, me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so you have been leading worship for a long time too. And I think many of us, if we go to church or we're listening to different worship artists, what's the different experiences that you would describe between being in a local church leading worship and traveling and being on stages or arenas and mm. leading worship? Mm. Um, I'm, I'm a homebody, so I love to be at home. It's good. But I also have this other side of me where I love to meet new people. I don't know. There's just something about getting to know someone and hear their story or just wherever they are in life. And so as you travel, you get to hear these stories and it's never the same. You know, it's always yeah. a new adventure to meet a new friend or something like that. But it's always great to also come home. You know, I got three awesome kids. And so I go home and we'll do something crazy like play Nerf in the house. <laughs> Nerf guns in the <laughs> so they probably Dang, love okay. me for it. Um, no breakables yeah. in sight, I'm assuming. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> no longer in sight. <laughs> if, if it breaks, then they're not responsible for it since okay. I started it. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. No, it's fun. Um, and so... And yeah, but the, the local church, you get to you get to know your church members. You get to know the stories. I mean, they're part of they're part of the uh, thread that God weaves in your own life as you understand how God is working in all of these different ways. So you don't get that necessarily when you go out, but you do get that consistency of, of the members of church, you know, being around. So that, mm. yeah, they're both beautiful differences, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have got an album that we have been just absolutely loving God Turn It Around, but there is a oh, whole man. album that's coming March 18th. Is that right? Yes. We're yes. getting the nod from the corner. Yes, March 18th. <laughs> yes. Okay. And March tell 18th. me a little bit about it. I hear it's half live, half mm -hmm. in studio. Yes. What are we going to be experiencing when we, we listen to this album? So live, we got a chance to um, to go into the studio with live with some people and uh, friends of mine and actually everybody I knew, just a lot of different friends. And so we recorded some songs that we felt were dear to our heart and that we felt could also uh, reach people wherever they are in their stories. Um, and in studio, I've gotten a chance to work with some amazing people like Tommy Sims. Um, I don't even know how God made that happen, but uh, but he's just a good friend, you yeah. know. And and so we are releasing that March 18th, and we're excited about it. Like, what's, okay, beyond like the song that we all love, God turned around. What's the other song? If you're like, okay, this should be the first sample. This song. First. Oh man, I don't know. I know it's know. like your kids. Like, what's your favorite? I don't know. But <laughs> They're also, well, one of my favorite songs is called Power of Your Name. It's a song that I got to write with Matt Redman and Nathan and Christy Knuckles. That's one. There's another one in the room that I got to write with a couple of friends, Michael Farron and Tony Woods. I love those guys. Yeah. And I just, they're all, it's like apples and oranges, right? They just meet you in these different spaces. And so, um, you keep hope alive. Mandisa did that with me. And mm -hmm. I, I love Mandisa for that, you know, a great sister, um, Let's see. What's another one? Uh, I got so okay. <laughs> keep me we'll near. Just, we'll just have to get the whole album. Yeah. What's the name of the album that we can be looking forward to? The name of the album is God Turn It Around. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll recognize that for sure. Um, I have one final question for you. Okay. Um, so many people, I'm assuming, have reached out and pulled you up and given you opportunities mm. in your life to to where you are. And I'm curious to know from your perspective, who do you want us here at K-Love to know about that you're like, there's this person coming up that, like, mm. who do you want to be able to give a shout out to right now that we can have our eyes out for? One of the people coming out, uh, one of the people I love people to be aware of is a young lady named Tarian, who, I mean, with class, with love, she has the love of, she has 
<laughs> with love for the Lord is what I'm trying to say. That's not the way you say it, though. <laughs> that gets a job done. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I mean, she, she, her love for the Lord is inspiring, mm-hmm. you know, and, and you can just see it on her as she ministers, as she sings, as she, the way she carries herself on and off stage. Her us, her husband, Ian, he's an amazing guy, and they're, uh, they live in Memphis, and so... Yeah, Tarian is one. Another one I'd say from my church, Church of the City, uh, is a young lady named Ilea Hook. She's another one. And so, yeah, I'm blessed to be able to know some really great artists. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. we will keep our eyes out for them. And we are so excited to get this full album from you. Thank you for leading us in worship and giving us the words that sometimes we don't, well, life gets hard and we just feel a little bit foggy. Mm-hmm. And your song cuts through. Wow. It gives us the words to sing and to worship God. So thank you for that. Uh, thank you. Praise God for that. Thank Thanks you. for coming to Caleb, and we cannot wait for what's next. Laurie, thank you for having me. Absolutely. I appreciate that.